1. Which of the following is a primary responsibility of a quality engineer in an organization? A. Ensuring compliance with legal requirements. B. Supervising production workers. C. Managing financial accounting. D. Driving quality improvement initiatives. Two, the term cost of quality includes which of the following? A. Costs related only to external failures. B. Only prevention and appraisal costs. C. All costs associated with ensuring product quality. D. Costs related to warranty claims. Three, what does the acronym PDCA stand for? A. Plan, do, check, act. B. Prepare, develop, control, analyze. C. Plan, design, control, assess. D. Perform, deliver, Check, assess. Four, in quality management, what is the primary purpose of a fishbone diagram? A, to identify potential causes of a problem. B, to measure process variation. C, to monitor process performance over time. D. To rank quality problems by severity. Five. Which of the following is an example of a preventive action? A. Replacing a faulty part after failure. B. Implementing operator training to avoid errors. C. Adding inspection points in the process. D. Issuing a customer refund. Six. What is the primary purpose of ISO 9001? A to improve environmental practices. B, to define guidelines for occupational safety. C, to establish a quality management system standard. D, to regulate financial reporting practices. Seven, which document defines how quality policies are implemented in an organization? A. Quality Manual B. Quality Policy Statement C. Work Instructions D. Audit Report Eight, in a quality audit, what is a key characteristic of an objective finding? A, it is based on the auditor's opinion. B, it is supported by verifiable evidence. C, it is reported verbally to the Audi T. D, it is based on previous audit reports. Nine, what is the role of management review in a quality management system? A, evaluate the effectiveness of the quality system. 
B. Conduct root cause analysis of defects. C. Develop new product designs. D. Oversee daily operations of production. Ten. Which of the following is not a principle of total quality management or TQM? A. Continuous improvement. B. Customer focused approach. C. Rigid hierarchy. D. Employee involvement. Eleven. Which statistical measure indicates the degree of variation within a data set? A. Mean. B. Median. C. Standard deviation. D. Mode. Twelve. What does a p-value less than 0.05 typically indicate in hypothesis testing? A. The null hypothesis is true. B. The results are statistically significant. C. The sample size is too small. D. The test is inconclusive. 13. Which type of chart is best used for monitoring process variability? A. Pareto chart. B. Control chart. C. Scatter plot. D. Histogram. 14. If a process has a CP of 1.5, what does this indicate? A. The process is centered on the target. B. The process is capable. C. The process is out of control. D. The process has high variability. 15. What is the purpose of performing a design of experiments or DOE? A. To improve communication between teams. B. To establish cause and effect relationships. C. To create a visual representation of a process. D. To identify project milestones. 16. Which of the following measures is used to evaluate product reliability? A. Mean time to failure or MTTF. B. Standard deviation. C. Process Capability Index D. Gantt Chart 17. A Failure Mode and Effects Analysis or FMEA is conducted to A. Evaluate Project Timelines B. Identify potential failure points in a system. C. Monitor ongoing process performance. D. Perform cost analysis. 18. What does the bathtub curve in reliability represent? A. The relationship between cost and time. 
B. The rate of failure over a product's life cycle. C. A correlation between variables. D. Maintenance schedules. Nineteen. Which term describes the ability of a product to perform its intended function without failure under stated conditions? A. Usability B. Reliability C. Efficiency D. Capability Twenty. Which of the following is a proactive risk management tool? A. Corrective action plan. B. Fault tree analysis. C. Warranty claims analysis. D. Inspection records. Twenty one. What is the purpose of a control plan? A. Define quality objectives for a project. B. Monitor and control critical process variables. C. Document inspection failures. D. Standardize work procedures. 22. Which type of design ensures that a product continues to function even when a component fails? A. Robust design B. Redundant design C. Aesthetic design D. Modular design 23. Which of the following tools is commonly used for prioritizing quality improvement efforts? A. Gantt chart B. Pareto analysis C. Scatter diagram D. Affinity diagram 3. A certified quality engineer or CQE is a professional who is trained and certified in quality engineering principles and practices. This credential, offered by the American Society for Quality or ASQ, demonstrates expertise in developing, managing, and improving quality control systems for manufacturing, service, and other industries. A CQE ensures that products and processes meet both customer and regulatory requirements while focusing on efficiency and cost-effectiveness. Here are five top beneficial uses of CQE. 1. Enhanced Process Improvement CQEs are trained to identify inefficiencies and implement robust quality improvement strategies. This leads to streamlined operations, reduced waste, and optimized processes across industries, benefiting both organizations and customers. 2. Data-driven decision-making CQEs are proficient in statistical analysis and quality tools, enabling them to make informed, data-driven decisions. They help organizations monitor process performance, predict outcomes, and address quality issues before they escalate. 3. Compliance and Risk Management With expertise in regulatory standards and quality systems like ISO 9001, CQEs ensure that processes comply with industry requirements. They also proactively identify and mitigate risks, reducing liabilities and enhancing product reliability. 4. Improved customer satisfaction. 
By focusing on product and service quality, CQE's help organizations deliver consistent and reliable outputs that meet or exceed customer expectations, boosting satisfaction, loyalty, and market reputation. 5. Career Advancement and Organizational Impact the CQE certification elevates professionals' careers by validating their skills and knowledge in quality engineering. It also positions them as leaders capable of driving significant organizational improvements, leading to cost savings and increased competitiveness.